so much all of you for backing us all today. It's much appreciated and we do realise that it's a knock-on effect on all the hospitals around Charlie. Preston, Wigan, Lee, Bolton and all the other ones as well. We really do appreciate it and thank you very much. Thank you and you think we've done well but at Charlie Hospital every single Saturday since that A&E closed they've had a protest like this at the front gates and they're not going away. Have we reached the tipping point in Bolton? Will the public tolerate any more cuts to the NHS? The figures speak for themselves. The OECD tells us that France spells 11, spends 11% 11 of its GDP on health care. Germany spends 11% on its health care and in the UK, UK we spend 8.8% much less that's a lot of money on hospital beds Germany have 8.8 .8 beds per thousand population France has 6.6 .6. we in the UK listen for it we spend 2.9 and in the, uh, we have 2.9 beds per thousand population we are not spending enough on the NHS so why are we cutting can you tell me why you've attended this event today? We've attended it because we feel passionately about the NHS. Um, the cuts that are taking place here are absolutely appalling. Uh, the NHS, everybody at some point in their life needs it. You know, it's alright saying, well, it's running okay, but it's not. The cuts that are taking place down that road, in that hospital, are life threatening. You're the only uh, councillors today uh, to be here. What, what's your message to the rest of the council who haven't bothered to attend this event? Get out of bed and come and support these rallies. But this isn't the first rally that's been done. There was one done two weeks ago in Bolton Town Centre. They didn't turn up then either. NHS is an essential service. No essential service, as important as this, should be subject to cuts in any way, shape or form. While people's lives are at stake, services should never ever be cut. You can, you can look around our, our essential services. This one, for me, is the biggest. But then we've got the police, we've got fire, we've got ambulance, we've got the armed forces. None of these services should ever, ever be threatened by cuts. None at all. NHS! Save our NHS! Save our NHS! I was looking for an ambulance. Charlie, who have been out there for 20... Oh, sorry. There you are. <laughs> there you go. I don't even know work it. Right, I'm up at uh, Charlie, I've been outside their hospital for over 20 weeks now, every Saturday. A fantastic response to what's happening. But what I said to them was, the much overused Nibev in quote, that the NHS will survive as long as there are good folk with the faith to fight for it. He didn't mention MPs, he didn't mention Lloyds or profiteers, he mentioned good folk. And what he meant by that was you people. Now, if we stand up and fight, we can win this. Yeah, we've yeah. got to stand up and fight, because this is a fight for our lives. Our lives, our children and our grandchildren. Because there's people out there waiting to get their grubby hands on at the NHS. Anyone who can view ill health and sickness as a means to make profit, the lowest of the law. Now we must drive these people out. One thing I want to say about today is, I'm a Labour Party member. And everybody who is a Labour Party member today needs to go back and question their councillors why they're not here today. Yeah. I want them here with us, alongside us. That's where they belong. Yeah. One last thing. We talk about the hospitals, the A&Es, etc. 
The hospital down here is bricks and mortar. It's the people who work in those hospitals that provide the services and the care that we rely on and at times take for granted. Those people are working under enormous pressure. They work in fear. Many of these people work in fear. They're frightened to speak out. They need our support. And we have the junior doctors who will be going on strike in October. What we need is, when they're out here in October, we need a turnout like today to show those people we do support them. Because there will be a, a further campaign to try and demonise and undermine junior doctors. We need to come out and show them we're right behind them. Thanks very much for coming today. Keep up the fight. Charlie Fred,